Um, good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Andrea, and along with uh, Nicole, Savannah, and Vic, we're Beta Digital. This is our capstone presentation. Next slide, please. On this slide, we can clearly see the revenues for the AC cameras, UAV drones, and the total for both. We've generally had a positive trend for our total revenues. As time has gone by, our revenue has steadily increased. We had a, <coughs> we had a consistent revenue growth from year five to year 15. There was a very minor decrease in revenue in year 13. Um, revenue fell from 695,129 to 673,827. Um, after this very small speed bump, the upward trend continued. Um, by year 15, the total revenue was 934,496. Next slide, please. Um, our annual earnings per share has also shown an upward trend. We started on year five with 75 cents of a dollar and ended up with $18.60 by year 15. Our earnings per share was well above other groups from our simulation. Next slide, please. Um, when talking about our trends in return on equity, our return on equity grew from 14% on year five to 58.9% on year 15. This has generally been a positive trend and has been continuously <laughs> growing, going upward, I'm sorry. The trend did decrease a bit after year 12, however, by the end of year 14, it began to increase again and reach a new higher peak of 58.9%. Um, next slide, thank you. Uh, on this slide, um, we see our annual credit rating. Uh, not only have we shown a positive upward trend with our annual cre uh, credit rating, but once we reach a rating of A plus in year 12, uh, it has maintained that golden standard since. And by the end of year 15, we have, we have paid all of our loans. The year-end stock price has been steadily increasing as time passed by. If you direct your attention to the graph, you will notice that our stock price has been growing steadily every year. Overall, we had the third highest stock price and by the end of year 15, our stock price was $506.31. Um, this slide shows our annual image rating. Um, our annual image rating has gone through several dips and gains, but has, fairly, has been fairly consistent. Our highest image rating occurred on year 11, at 87. Um, and at a certain point of the simulation, we had to cut costs to meet our goals. And we ended up contributing less into charity, which is likely why you see a dip in our image uh, rating. But we still ended with an attractive image rating of 84. Okay, so we're gonna talk about um, our mission vision. Um, Beta Digital's mission is to provide excellent customer service. At the same time, we provide uh, customer access to wonderful technology that inspires, motivates, and creates memories. And our vision is to provide continuously improving high quality image capability to capture life's moments. Um, Beta Digital strives to be customers' number one choice for versa versatile drones and advanced cameras that does not sacrifice quality or break the bank. We strive to be a business with leading customer support. Next slide, please. The company values are 
accountability, continuous improvement, curiosity, passion, innovation, integrity, and courtesy. Next slide, please. Okay, so Beta Digital strategic vision is to provide continuous improvement, <laughs> high quality image capability while maintaining affordable to all customers. Beta Digital strives to be customers' number one choice, not only for the versatile drones and advanced cameras, but also for a maximum value that does not sacrifice quality or cost too much. We strive to be a business with leading customer support known for helping others create and store wonderful memories. The team at Beta Digital has put together some performance targets for year 16 and 17 as if the simulation continued. So our earnings per share for year 16, we decided should be $20 and year 17 should be $25. The return on average shareholder equity would be 60% for year 16 and 65% for year 17. Credit ratings should remain at an A plus credit rating for year 16 and 17. Image rating should be 84 in year 16, but go up to 85 in year 17. Our stock price should be no less than $525 in year 16 and $575 in year 17. We have made some high performance targets, but if we keep going in the direction that we are going in, we do believe that they are doable. Now I want to talk a little bit about our competitive strategy for our action capture cameras. So we did stick with a focus differentiation strategy and a focus differentiation strategy appeals to a narrow buyer segment by offering customized attributes and features that meet buyer requirements better than rival companies. And we did actually stick with a global strategy. So it's the same across all four geographic regions. We uh, strive to have top quality AC cameras and we did actually end with the highest PQ rating in the simulation. Uh, for year 15, our AC cameras had a PQ rating of 7.6 stars with an industry average of 6.3 stars. So this was well over our industry average. <coughs> we started out by gradually increasing our PQ by advancing some of the design features. After a few years, we did have a point in time where we kind of had to dial it back down and uh, bring our quality down just a little bit. Um, we had to do this to ensure we were achieving our projected performance. Um, we needed to cut some costs and we knew that we would still be in the lead for best quality cameras after doing so. Um, we actually started to bring the PQ back up towards the end of the simulation to get back where we were going with our strategy. Our competitive strategy for our UAV drones was a low cost provider strategy. Um, this was also a global strategy, so it's going to be at the same across all four geographic regions. A low cost provider strategy appeals to a broad range of buyers and strives to achieve overall lower costs. So we did actually have the lowest price drones and we were able to achieve this by having uh, standard and basic qualities and features and we were able to lower and cut costs in certain areas. We did end with a PQ rating of 6.3 stars for our drones, um, which isn't far off the industry average of 6.5 stars. So for our drones, we started out with um, small advancements and upgrades at and at some point we kind of just stuck with the minor upgrades. Um, we maintained the lowest prices, increased price increases possible each year um, to ensure we were staying below our rivals. Um, I also provided a table here that has the comparison for year 15 for our drones by geographic region, um, our prices, and then the industry average price. So in North America, our prices were uh, $2,050 and the industry average in that area was uh, $2,513. In Europe, Africa, our prices were $2,040 and the industry average was $2,446. In Asia Pacific, our prices were $1,965 and the industry average was $2,211. And in Latin America, um, our prices were $1,985 with an industry average of $2,176. Um, so this shows that we are kind of w way below the industry average there. Uh, for production strategy, we don't really do over time because of the budget. We started with 300 available workstation for AC camera, but we instead we only used 280 workstation. Um, and we started with 110 workstation for our drones. And uh, we only use uh use hundred and 
we only using began to use hundred and in year nine we added ten more station in year eleven we added another ten more and in year twelve we added twenty more station and for the total total of a hundred and forty four workstation in fifty uh, in year fifteen. Next slide, please. Um, for compensation and slash training strategy. Uh, for best pra practices, improvement training strategy gradually increased. And as you can see at the table, the bottom for base wage, we we had 29,635 for, for our company. And for industry average is 30,637. And we're not much off compared to industry average. For assembly quality, got 2,175. And industry average is 3,126. For attendance bonus, we got 1,300 and industry average is 1,000. Uh, 1, so we got more than industry average. For benefit package, we have 2,000 industry averages, 1,830. For the total compensation, our company have 35,110 and industry average have 36,596. And uh, for UAV drones, base wage, we got 29,635 and industry average is 34,759. Assembly quality, we have 2,259 and industry average is 4,118. Uh, we're way off on this one. Uh, for attendance bonus, we have 1,300, well, industry average have up. 1,158 for benefit package. We got 2,000 industry average has 3,667. And for the total position, uh, 35,194 and 43,703 for industry average. Uh, all right, next slide, please. All right, for our financial strategy, we focused on increasing shareholder value by using both debt and equity to finance operations, maintain our strong credit rating, and issuing and repurchasing stock. Our dividend policy maximized shareholder return. This allowed us to achieve a balance between reinvesting profits and paying out the dividends. Next slide. Our debt to equity ratio is very strong by managing our debt position to ensure our financial obligations were manageable and our debt levels are in line with our objectives. This allowed us to have an A plus credit rating by year 12. We have an active stock program when issuing stock, we made sure to keep our stock prices appealing to investors while providing liquidity to existing shareholders. When repurchasing stock, we enhance shareholder value by buying back shares at an attractive price and increasing our earnings per share. Next slide. Next. With, <laughs> with the presented points for our company's current financial values, our dividend policy is strict. Distribution is low considering the performance of our company. The reason for this is to retain funds to finance the capital expansion expenses. For years 16 and 17, our company will consider increasing the dividend since the current payout is very low. The increase in dividend can be achieved by getting long-term loans to finance capital expansion, as long as the cost of capital for the loan is lower than the return on the investment. This is more than likely possible due to our company having excellent profit margins and very good debt to equity ratio. Done. <laughs> Our biggest competitor, uh, competitor for AC cameras, we believe is we believe is Team A, and uh, looking at the chart on the right, uh, for the brand reputation, Team A they have eighty nine and we only have eighty five. Uh, a brand reputation is result in higher sale and profit, also improved trust. 
and which lead to more sales and also allow you to charge premium for product and services and um, without determining customer who see brands as a value and is desirable. And for number of models, team A have six and we only have four. Uh, for the retail, uh, retail outlet, uh, Multi, uh, multi store change team may have 72 and uh, we have 69. And online retailers, they got 200 and we only got 191. The local retailers, they got 7,310 and we only have 6,890. And the, they have units sold for 293.5 and we only got 243.7. And they also got a better market share, which is not 19.0%, and we only got 15.8. Next. Uh, for the UAV drones, again, it's team A. Uh, with a total average direct sales per unit, they got 2,400. Uh, 28. Uh, the main reason we believe they uh, outperformance is the online retailers. They got uh, they got 60 compared to beta digital with only 30 uh, 36. And again, they have a uh, higher number for models. Uh, uh website to display they got five thousand. Uh, we got 1,000, we only got 1,850 search uh, engine, they got 9,000, we only have 2,300. And for the, most, for the warranty period, they put down as three, uh, 360 day, and we only, uh, we only did 180. And for the market share, they got 20.4, and we only have 17. Point seven. Next slide. Uh, our strategy to take out our competitor. First, I'll, I will talk about the the problem for AC cameras. The although Beta Digital hold a uh, hold a higher market share, uh, Team A has a higher market share with nineteen percent, and Beta Digital with fifteen point eight percent. And for and also. Team A spent twelve thousand five hundred to uh for advertise and the AC camera which came out successfully. But us, our company, we only spent three thousand two hundred fifty to advertise the AC cameras, and I think we need to work on that. And the solution to outperform the Team A, uh, we. We need to work on uh, the quality of the SE camera, meaning we have to improve the quality rating of the of the cameras. We might take a loss in the first year, to, the first year to spend more on improving AC camera to the higher quality, but it will provide to be a better product and a, a higher demand across all the sales region. <laughs> um, also, uh, to improve the quality of AC camera, we need to uh cur uh correcting our mistake with uh we we will go over with marketing strategy and utilize our time to energy to advertise our product in a way to capture our audience put more budget towards advertising to increase in sales improve um, improve brand reputation by utilizing the online re retailers to get higher result in sales and give uh, positive and honest comment, and for the UAV drones, is really kind of the same as AC camera. We just need to uh do a lot better on online retailers. Spend more time managing the market. We need to put also put more budget to AC, uh UAV drones, and need to increase the warranty period to increase sales and demand. Uh, the lessons learned, I think as a team, we have learned new ways in deciding what makes us a successful manager. While competing against other well-managed companies, we knew what managers should and should not do for a company to be financially and competitively successful. 
But before pricing items, you should conduct thorough market, market research as a manager using the Globus simulation. It is clear that pricing has a significant impact on the market as the price changes, other elements such as total income, number of clients, and so on alter as well. It is also critical that as a team, we are both on board in every company related decision and that all choices should be made together. A great team is an important part of having a winning plan. In order to create a good team, all members must be able to communicate effectively. When it comes to making choices and generating ideas for the company's next step, communication is extremely important. There are several, several potential losses if the manager does not have effective communication skills, such as not being able to execute some of your teammates' brilliant ideas because they do not share them with the management team. Lastly, an important lesson learned is to make every effort to use all the resources available. There's a large amount of information available within Globus that may help a firm get a competitive advantage.